Okay, let's sum up. Um, we have seen the Pioneer WeGo, okay. which is a basic uh, a controller to give you the chance to um, control two channels, two decks um, at the same time. Um, you could go up to four depending on the software and two controls. Uh, you can mix with it, you can pretty much uh, also scratch with it very easy. It comes in with built-in LEDs on, on each channel, something that the WeGo 3 does not have anymore. So Pioneer stripped that from the, from the, um, you know, the follow-up uh, version, so to say. Um, it has a holder where you can put in your iPad or your uh, Android device, so you're basically your mobile device. You can put it there so you can actually look at it. Um, that is stable enough, even if uh, the whole world's shaking. That's still uh, stable enough. By the way, you can also pick that one, uh, that whole controller up by that. Um, you can connect it to the PC. You can connect it to the Mac. Use the usual subject there, um, with the exception of uh, Serato not supporting the WeGo 2. However, supporting WeGo 1 and WeGo 3, if that's important for you. And DJ Pro only being available for the Mac right now, not for the PC. Um, then going to iOS, um, as we have seen, um, Cross DJ uh, is there right now. It's crashing, but in theory, it should be there. I've seen it there. Um, supports WeGo 2, supports WeGo 3, and some other uh, devices too. Um, DJ 2 on the iPad. That's the perfect um, companion actually to it. So that's the that's the basically what you want to have. So if you if you if you love DJ and you use it. Uh, Anyway, that's that's really uh, where you want to go. Um, Tractor on um, on iOS, big disappointment because they do not support any other controllers than their own. So the WeGo will not work with Tractor. So it's a great app, and I think it's a missed opportunity. Uh, and then we had DJ Player, DJ Player, which uh, can map all the functionalities, all the nap to the app, and then also works fully. Uh, on iOS. So iOS, you have a wide variety of, of apps to choose from, so you can also uh, look like um, what you use and uh, if you can use that controller. Um, looking on Android, the market is a little bit smaller. We only have two um, apps there. It's DJ2 that we know already from the other platforms. However, DJ2 does not support um, any other controller than the BeatLoop um, right now, which is uh, a little bit disappointing. I hope they change something in the future. Um, however, all the WeGo's are not supported uh, by DJ uh, on Android as of now. Um, and then we have um, Cross DJ in the Pro Edition, like what we see here on the screen on Android. That one also works well. It perfectly uh, connects all the things. Although on Android, you have to live with the fact that it does not use the internal sound card. So you have to map um, your sound with a split cable. Um, and then maybe with an, with an external amplifier for your headphones. That's a disadvantage uh, that you have there. In general, the Pioneer WeGo is really flexible. So what you can say is on each and every platform that you have, whether it be a PC, a Mac, uh, an iOS device or an Android device, you find at least one um, app that can actually work and that supports like most of the features of the device. So from looking from the, from the flexibility, you're really good to go. Um, Unfortunately, and this is really a big disappointment, is there's not one application that is supporting the WeGo on all platforms in the complete equal way. Um, as we have seen, like like uh, DJ is not available as DJ Pro on the PC platform, and on Android it does not uh, support uh, the WeGo at all. Um, yet, you have to say, Cross DJ is available on all the platforms. However, on iOS right now it crashes and on Android it does not fully support the sound uh, uh, output. Although on Windows we also had the problem that the sound uh, um, was not going uh, through here. But uh, right now I would say if you want to go um, and you really want to be cross-platform, cross then Cross DJ, well the name says it, um, is probably uh, already a good chance and your best chance to achieve that. Um, if you're more flexible, then I would say on Android, Cross DJ, as of now, is the best choice. On iOS, it's um, DJ2 um, from Algorithm, actually all together with uh, DJ Player. And, um, well, on uh, the Windows and Mac platform, well, on Mac, uh, on Mac it's probably um, uh, DJ Pro. Um, um, on Windows, I would say it's Tractor or Virtual DJ, you know, depending on your preferences by itself. That's the WeGo. I think it's still a cool device. WeGo 2 
I think you can get it pretty cheap on, on eBay or something like that, or they really sell it off, um, that's good. Um, Vigo 3 has you know a new price tag, so they, they, they increase the price a uh, little bit. It brings one feature which is which is good for for uh, for iOS devices. It can actually charge your device while you're connected to it, so that's a good point and that's an advantage that you have there. However, they strip the LED uh, level meters, which you could say, well, I can live with that because I have it in the app. That's true, but I found it a little bit disappointing, and there's actually no big reason to do that. Um, so that's the biggest difference between them. Um, I hope you like this review. And, well, share it, give it a few likes, and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.